Have you looked at the Garmin world recently? They've got dozens of products, Garmin Connect, Garmin Explore, the Cloud, and so many apps. What's up with all this stuff? In this video, I'll sort out the major components of the Garmin digital infrastructure. Garmin's digital infrastructure that supports fitness and navigation devices is extensive and confusing. Today, I'm going to attempt to reduce the confusion by breaking down the infrastructure into smaller, understandable pieces. Let me start with a disclaimer. This is my understanding of what Garmin has built as of today. If I've got any of this wrong, or if months from now Garmin has made changes, please leave a comment and let other viewers know what is correct or different. Also, I'm approaching this as a motorcyclist with a Zumo XT. Other than reading some of the website descriptions of the dozens of other Garmin products and apps, I'm not familiar with them. At the highest level, Garmin categorizes their products as wearables, sports and fitness, outdoor recreation, automotive, marine, and aviation products. I'm not going to cover anything about marine or aviation products. Let's begin to look at the Garmin digital world. First, there is a cloud. The cloud is simply hardware for storing massive amounts of data. The data can be accessed via the internet from anywhere in the world. This is how I'll show the cloud in these illustrations. You can access your data stored in the cloud using a website. When you create an account at Garmin, you're given space in the cloud to store data related to your Garmin devices. As of now, you can store that data for free. You can access the website using your computer, smartphone, or tablet. Your Garmin device is connected to your smartphone with a Bluetooth connection. The device can be a wearable, such as a smartwatch or a satellite communicator, or a GPS. Many devices have a USB connection to connect them to a computer. The computer is used to update the unit. The USB connection is not used during regular operation, so I'm omitting the USB connection from the remainder of these diagrams. Since most Garmin devices don't connect directly to the internet, an app on your smartphone manages the communication between your device and the cloud. This is the basic architecture, shown as simply as possible. There are variations for different products, but keep the basic scheme in mind as the variations are all based on this arrangement. Let's look at some of the variations. This is the setup for a wearable device. The app on the phone is called Connect and the website where you can view and manage the data for your wearable is connect.garmin.com. This is where it gets confusing. When you hear the term Garmin Connect, is that the app or the website? Garmin probably thought that having the names the same would make it easier. If you're using the Connect app, then you go to the Connect website. Until I figured it out, I was totally confused. This is the setup for the InReach satellite communicator. The InReach gets location information from the GPS satellites, shown here in yellow. It also communicates with the Garmin cloud via the Iridium communication satellites, shown here in black, to send and receive text and emergency messages. It connects to your smartphone via a Bluetooth connection. The EarthMate app ties it all together. The website where you can manage the data and the subscription is explore.garmin.com. 
This is a case where the app and the website do not have the same name, so it should be less confusing. Garmin makes automotive and non-automotive navigation devices. This is the setup for non-automotive GPSs. The GPS connects to the phone via a Bluetooth connection. The Explore app ties it all together. Notice, however, the website is explore.garmin.com. That's the same website used by the InReach. The app and the website have the same name. This is the setup for automotive devices. Garmin classifies the Zumo XT as an automotive device. There are several things that are different with automotive devices. The Explore app is installed on the device and the smartphone app is called Drive. The website is again explore.garmin.com. So why is the Explore app on the Zoom OXT? Let's look at the connection capabilities of the XT. In addition to the Bluetooth connection to the phone, the XT can connect to recent inReach models using an AMP Plus connection. The XT also has built-in Wi-Fi capability, so it can communicate with the Garmin Cloud directly. The Wi-Fi connection allows the XT to update itself without the use of a smartphone or a computer. The built-in Explore app can communicate directly with the Explore website. Now let's go back. This is the Garmin digital infrastructure in a nutshell. You have a Garmin device and you have data in the cloud. A smartphone with an app connects the two. I hope you found the explanation helpful and easy to understand. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with others. Commenting on a video gives, or giving it a thumbs up and sharing it on social media helps others learn what you've learned. In addition, if you want to support the channel monetarily, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com or go to the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Links are in the description. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.